The Cotswolds discover one day pass. Sponsors the AONB update. When you think about what counties are in the Cotswolds, you might think of Gloucestershire and Oxfordshire. In fact, there's a few more. Parts of Wiltshire, Somerset, Worcestershire and Warwickshire. And Warwickshire is where we are today. But whereabouts? You can find out here on your autumn update for the Cotswolds area of outstanding natural beauty. I'm starting my walk from the pretty village of Radway, then taking the Battlefields Trail up to Edge Hill, then to Ratley, finishing at Warmington. Along the way, I'll update you with news from across the Cotswolds A and B. Well, I'm starting my walk here in the village of Radway, where they have these brilliant information interpretation panels that you can wind up and hear information about the village, the history and the heritage. Well, the Cotswolds Conservation Board has been successful in phase one of a growth fund bid to have more information boards in towns and villages right across the AOMB. We'll keep you posted if that bid's been successful and hopefully you'll see more kind of things like this right across the AOMB. The Battle of Edge Hill Exhibition, The People Struggle. A new cafe and farm shop has opened near Ebrington thanks to a Cotswold Leader Programme fund of over £48,000. Vegetable Matters received the grant towards the construction of its new farm shop. It's time you can buy milk in the village uh, and uh, it just reinforces their relationship with an existing customer base and they'll grow it, they'll grow their customer base even more and this will become a destination for both tourists and local community alike. Other Cotswold Leader programmes include £10,000 towards the firewood processor at the Little Owl Logs in Bybury and £29,000 towards two bespoke wooden holiday homes near Chipping Camden. For more details and to see if your business can qualify, go to cotswoldleader.org.uk. Our woodlands are great to come and see at this time of the year with the golden colours on the floor and the golden colour coming through the sun with the leaves that remain on the trees. And our meadows during the spring and summer have been fantastic to come and see too. Thanks to the three year project of Save Our Magnificent Meadows in the Cotswolds, we've seen a real increase of species rich grassland, as you'll see in this brand new video. Through the project, we're hoping to increase the amount of species rich grassland there is um, throughout the Cotswolds. Wildflower meadows are an intrinsic part of our cultural heritage and our landscape. Aesthetically, they're so pleasing. There's a footpath that runs through this meadow so walkers can en enjoy it. These meadows are so special, we have to protect them. The Cotswolds Conservation Board is looking into future funding opportunities to continue this great work. Meanwhile, volunteers continue surveying the reseeded sites beyond the life of the project. The Cotswold Hair Trail will return in 2018 with a brand new supporter. The Cotswolds a and Hair Trail, as it will be known, is supported by the Cotswolds Conservation Board, looking to generate funds for a new grasslands project and for the caring for the Cotswolds Visitor Giving Scheme. And the Hair Trail is looking for artists to design the hairs, which you will see out and about across the Cotswolds a and from May to September next year. For more details, go online to our website. Now let's take a look at some more stories making the headlines across the Cotswolds a and this autumn. The Cotswold Way will be joining a number of national trails including the South West Coast Path in a new tourism project aimed at increasing the number of international visitors. The new itineraries will be created by the board creating the perfect visit to the Cotswolds a and There's still time to enter this year's Cotswold Photographer of the Year competition. 
you can enter via the website. You can enter up to two pictures and you have until the end of December. And work has begun on a new rural skills project working with secondary schools. The pilot with Burford School sees youngsters building their skills in dry stone walling and other rural skills and crafts. And work continues on the AOMB's management plan. A number of consultations have already taken place with one more consultation due to take place. For more information, go to cotswoldsaomb.org.uk. This year's Cotswolds AMB Hedge Day and Championships takes place at Work and Farm near Fifield in Oxfordshire on Saturday the 18th of November from 9am to 2pm. Go along, it's free and you can support our hedge layers which represent other parts of the UK including here in the Cotswolds. And I've come to the end of my walk here in the village of Warmington in the very far northeast of the Cotswolds AOMB. And if you fancy exploring this area or any other part of the Cotswolds AOMB, then head to our website at cotswoldsaomb.org.uk and then follow the links to guided and self-guided walks. There's plenty of guided walks in this area by the Cotswold Voluntary Wardens, by the Banbury and North Oxfordshire Ramblers Association, and as I've seen back in Ratley, the National Herb Walkers that walk from here in Warmington across the area. Don't forget you can also like us on our Facebook page. You can see more updates like this one on our YouTube channel and you can also follow us on Twitter. From me here in Warmington, it's goodbye. Discoverer one day pass. Sponsors the AONB update.